Luke Wells sets tone with Rapid 100. Somerset return home after a chasing defeat at the hands of Yorkshire in Scarborough. It took their hosts just two days to beat the side from the southwest, whose fate is now no longer in their own hands. Lancashire too have some ground to make up after slipping to defeat away at Trent Bridge. In the absence of Craig Overton and Jack Leach, Somerset handed a debut to 19-year-old Ned Leonard. Entrusted with the new ball, he didn't have long to wait for his maiden first-class wicket. George Balderson out for 22. And Jack Brooks followed it up. Davis caught behind for three. Josh Bohannon joined Luke Wells at the crease, and he had a front-row seat to a blistering innings. Foot firmly to the floor, the counter-attack came thick and fast, led by Wells, who picked off the Somerset attack clinically and aggressively. An expensive Delanger over culminated with another four for Wells, 100 on the board for Lancashire and 50 runs up for the number three, scored off just 48 balls, featuring 11 fours. He refused to let up, scoring at almost a runner ball through to lunch, the third wicket pair worth 100 shortly before the break, Wells with 72 of them. The pattern continued after the break. Well led the charge for Lancashire, the score up to 150 as he pulled Delanger to the ropes. Another boundary took him to three figures for the 19th time in first class cricket. The knock reached of 112 balls and it featured 24s. Any hopes he had of building on that score were over in an instant. Caught in the slips to the next ball off Abel for 103, a great innings at an end. Bohannon at the other end was nearing a personal milestone of his own and found it with a crunching cover drive to the ropes, his seventh four taking him to 50. But once again, Abel struck with the following delivery, Bohannon out on 50, caught by Leonard. This was much better from the hosts. There may have been 200 on the board now, but Abel had found his rhythm and Rob Jones paid the price. He was out for five. Villas and Croft weren't shy. They replied with a bit of a counter-attack. Leonard welcomed to the first-class game by the Lancashire skipper with a couple of boundaries to set his side on their way towards 250. For all the enterprise though, Somerset looked on a bit of a charge, and no sooner had 250 runs gone up on the scoreboard, they struck again. The captain out, LBW for 36. And he had another in his next over, Lancashire 7 down, shortly before T, Lamb trapped in front without scoring. That's how they would remain at the break, the score 276 for 7. Croft and Bailey returned to the middle with renewed vigour and soon found their way to 300. A single slapped into the leg side by Croft took him to a well-made 50. Another good performance from a Lancashire batsman. Somerset were trying everything they could, but Croft was resolute, even if that meant wearing one. And the eighth wicket pair played their way to a 50-run partnership of 143 balls, sharing the load and ensuring Lancashire were edging ahead in this contest. Somerset thought they had Croft, but he was handed a life. The ball above head height, a reprieve for Lancashire. Bailey joined his partner on 50. Delanger crunched through the boundary, the bowler up to the mark of 111 balls. Croft did finally go, and this time he couldn't be saved. Caught behind off Delanger. Bailey and Blatherwick navigated the final over, a maiden for Leonard, and reached the close at 364 for eight. The visitors off to a great start after a good day with the bat. They still have time to record maximum batting bonus points, something they'll target early on day two, with just 36 more runs required. The hosts, though, will be hunting wickets, knowing that they've got the firepower in their ranks to put themselves on level terms.